Hey guys, it's Iron Mercy. So today I'm going to show you how to bevel your control surfaces. So the first thing you need when you're beveling a control surface is a sharp blade. You always need a sharp blade when you're cutting things, but you especially need one when you're beveling. So I have a dull blade that I've used a lot. I'm going to just show you what that's like. So first you want to score a line through your paper and crack it loose. Then fold it over and put your ruler on there again and then bevel. It's really hard to cut with this old blade and it can mess up your bevel. You can see that the old blade can snag some pieces of the foam and mess up how your control surface, how much it can move. So now I'm gonna show you with a new blade. Okay, I got my new blade. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I can already feel that it cuts a lot better and a lot smoother. Okay, so now you can see that this one is cut a lot cleaner and it can move all the way back and forth. When you're beveling the control surface, you want to make sure it's about a 45 degree angle like this. So it goes down and then 45 degrees. And you want to make sure you're beveling the control surface, not the part that's on the plane because as the air goes over it, it can smoothly go over. But if it goes over this, it catches on this edge right here. So always wanna make you always wanna make sure that you're beveling the control surface and not the part on the plane. And bevel about a 45 degree angle, but if you need more throw, you can also bevel the part on the plane. So just do the same thing that you already did. Make sure you still have a good blade. If your blade got dull by now, then you can get a new one. And then you can move it all the way 90 degrees. You're never gonna need that much throw, but you might need close for like a 3D plane or something. And then once you have enough throw that you need, you can get your hot glue gun and first you want to make sure that these are lined up like this on a flat line like this so the bevels meet at a flat line and then take your hot glue gun and put a tiny bead of glue down it and then squeegee it off and don't leave very much. This is what flight test does to make sure the paper doesn't come off. So you're gonna wait for that to dry, and when it's dry, you can test it. Okay, now that it's dry, you can test to make sure you can still move. And I can, mine can still move. Okay, now you know how to bevel your control surfaces. I hope this helped, and if it did, then like the video so it can help other people. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wanna see more tip videos like this, because I make a new one every week. So thanks for watching and bye.